Hey everyone, welcome back to the series. Today we are going to supercharge our styling by integrating Native Wind into our Expo app. With Native Wind, you can write Tailwind like classes in your React Native app and components, making styles fast and fun. Let's dive in. First things first, we need to install the Native Wind along with Tailwind CSS and some required packages. Open up your terminal and run these commands. But let's head over to the native wind docs to see things how they are going. As we are using SDK 50 plus so we can install this command by using pnpm. Open up your terminal and paste this and hit enter. Now it will install the required packages. Once installed, let's initialize Tailwind CSS by running command npx Tailwind CSS in it. So it will create a Tailwind config.js file. Now inside here we have to add this code for the content and presets. So the native wind will know actually which folder we are going to use the class names as in here case it is for the app directory but if you want like components or any other pages you can just add it like this and give it like components that's like you can add it and after that let's go to the third step uh, we have to create the globals.css file and import this code for this we will create a one more folder and globals.css file like this and paste this code. Next, we need to update our Babel config so native wind can recognize it. If you don't have it, let's create one like this and copy the code from here and paste it like this. This ensures that the native wind processes our Tailwind CSS classes correctly. Now we have to make one more configuration of metroconfig.js. So let's create it metro.config.js like this and also copy the code from here and paste it like this. But as we have the styles folder, so let's add it like styles like this and now we have to import the globals.css file which we created here into the layout.tsx import styles globals.css now before we start our server we have to make sure like it should also work with the typescript to enable uh, it is as a typescript we have to create a one more file called native wind env.d.ts so it is going to create a type and add this code and after this we have to start our server but as we have added multiple packages and some configurations with babel and metro we have to start with the command hyphen c so it is going to clear the cache and start our server again whenever you make the changes in metro or babelconfig.js always make sure to start the server with hyphen c command as our server has started we can see our app which we created in the last tutorial now let's just add some styling to it like here i will hit the class name let's give it a flex1 atom center justify center after that let's also give here Last name and probably it should work but it's not and there we go you just created a Tailwind class within Expo app notice how we use the Tailwind like classes directly in the class name prop instead of this boring style sheet as we have to manually create one by one them and also add it in the each component that's it guys we have successfully integrated the native wind in our expo app now you can enjoy writing styles 
just like in Tailwind CSS, making your development faster and your UI super attractive. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe and drop a comment with your thought.